In this video, we'll take a look at the graphical interface in CAM 350 and how to work with it when viewing and analyzing your data. So we've got a design loaded here. The first thing is to zoom in and out. We use the center mouse button, uh, the scroll button, if you will. Hold that button down and push the entire mouse forward and that zooms in. Hold that button down, pull the entire mouse backwards and that zooms out. If we just scroll the scroll button, it scrolls us up and down. If we hold the shift key on the keyboard down and do the same, we go side to side. If we hold the control key down and do the same, we go in and out at the same spot as the cursor is. When we're looking at layers, double clicking on a layer will turn that layer on and the others off. To turn additional layers on, it's just as simple as clicking on them. We start off in the CAM or design data area. We can go to the panel data if it exists or even the release package if it exists just by clicking on any of these palettes here. We can go to NC data, custom aperture, flying pro, bed of nails, or part editor simply by using the tabs at the bottom of the screen. We have a coordinates pop-up which we can use to accurately move and work with data. You can right click up here at the top of the GUI and customize the GUI by doing things like creating new toolbars, just say new, give it a name, uh, drag it up here somewhere and then simply drag commands into that toolbar to create your own custom toolbar. You can add items to the tools menu just by simply uh, specifying the executable. This could be a script or it could be more than likely a, a text editor or some sort of a program that you may want to launch from within CAM 350. There are keyboard shortcuts. Uh, there's a list under the help system of the basic keyboard shortcuts, but you can create any that you want in CAM 350. So if you wanted to do an info um, stream results and you wanted a particular shortcut key for that, just go ahead and press it on your keyboard. If it is assigned to something, it'll let you know. If it's not assigned to something, you can click the assign key and now control all s will bring us up the streams results. Once you've done any kind of modification to your GUI, you'll want to save that off, so we allow you to export that to a file, and then on any future versions of CAM 350 you might uh, load, you can just import that file and all your customization will be intact. So this is some of the customization you can do in some of the simple manipulation of the GUI in CAM 350.